Kids for Jesus and Friends. Welcome to St. Hilda's Anglican Church Sunday School. Last week, we made an Advent wreath. On the wreath, there was four colored candles to mark the four Sundays in Advent. Last week, to mark the first Sunday in Advent, we lit a purple candle in church called the Hope Candle or Prophecy Candle. Does anyone know what Sunday it is today? Yes, it's the second Sunday in Advent or the Faith Sunday. Today in church, we are going to light a purple candle called the Bethlehem Candle as a reminder of Mary and Joseph's journey into Bethlehem. Our story today is about John the Baptist, who was preparing the people to meet Jesus, their Savior. Let us pray. Jesus, you are the most important thing in my life. Thank you for loving me. I want to return that love by making you first in my life. Mark chapter 3, verse 2. Mark chapter 3, verse 2. The voice of one crying. The voice of one crying. Out in the wilderness. Out in the wilderness. Prepare the way. The prepare the way. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. And make his path straight. And make his path straight. Our story today is about John the Baptist from Mark chapter 1, verse 1 to 8. It's read from the Spark Story Bible. John the Baptist, 
was an unusual man. He had lots of hair and a long beard. His clothes looked like his face. They too were furry and hairy. His clothes were made of camel's hair, held together with a leather belt. John ate strange foods, including wild honey and locusts. A kind of grasshopper. Yuck. God gave John an important job. His job was to tell people that Jesus was coming and help them get ready to believe what Jesus would teach them. John knew the things Jesus would tell people were the most important things in the world. When he taught people, John stood by the river and yelled out, Hey, all of you, tell God you're sorry for your sins. Turn your life around and act in ways that are good and honest. Then he would turn to another group and shout, Are you listening? This is important. Jesus is coming. He is the Messiah. He will save all of us. Day after day, John continued teaching, preaching, and crying out so people would listen. Many people came to hear what John had to say about Jesus. There were rich and poor people, honest and dishonest people, nice and not so nice people. Some people listened to John. Some people didn't. Some people said, that man must be a messenger from God. Some said, he is really odd. I'm getting out of here. Many people believed the message John told. Those people said, I am sorry for my sins. I want God to forgive me. To each, John said, God does forgive you. He baptized those people in the river. The people started calling him John the Baptist. John the Baptist had done a good job. The people were ready to hear the message Jesus would bring. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In our Bible story today, we hear about John the Baptizer. He called out to the people, quoting words from the prophet Isaiah, saying, Prepare the way of the Lord. He asked the people to change their hearts and get ready for Jesus. He wanted them to make sure that when Jesus started preaching, healing, and teaching, that they would know in their hearts he was God's only son sent to save them from sin. Thank you for joining us today. Join us again next week when we celebrate the third Sunday in Advent. Dear God, Thank you for being the one we were waiting for. Lots of important people get special treatment in our lives. We give them a lot of time and attention. But Father, no one is more worthy than you. Help us to open our hearts and minds to all you have for us this Advent Advent season. Help us to show the love you have shown us to others in Jesus' name. Amen. It's for Jesus and friends. Welcome to Craft Time. Today we are going to make a stable ornament. For that, we'll need eight craft sticks. We'll need a scissor. We'll need some uh, string. We'll also need glue and we'll need a star. First, I've cut the craft sticks into two five inch, two three and seven eight inch, two, three and three eight inch, and two, three and a quarter inch. And I'll begin now to assemble our stable ornament. It is a very simple craft that we can all make to celebrate the season. So first I'll glue the two largest thick one would be for the base and one would be for the middle then I will use 
the three and three quarter uh, sticks for the outside of the stable. So I'll glue them together. I prepped some of the sticks with glue, but I would need additional glue as well. So I'm gonna add some more. And now I am going to use the three and seven eight inch sticks for the middle, okay? Spaced properly. Okay. Now I am going to turn this over and I am going to add some glue onto the sticks again at the end and I will put on the roof. stable ornament. Now I'm going to add the star onto the stable. And I'm going to turn it over and I'll add some more glue and I will add one of the so that I can hang my stable onto the tree. And there you have it, our stable ornament. Have fun creating. You can color this stable however you see fit. You can make it look wooden, like darken the wooden color you can put gold paint you can put any glitter or any other um, any other uh, designs that you that you have at home and and you feel comfortable doing so thank you for joining us for craft time have fun creating see you again next week he is the light, light, light.